Tiny Room for Elephants Happy Hour. We're together every week with some of our favorite people from around the city, and we just talk shit. So (laughs) we're going to get started today with just the intro in case you guys out there don't know who we are. We're going to say who we are, and we're going to say the last thing that we actually cooked. And, you know, there's no judgment here, Mike, in case you didn't cook anything. (laughs) Lately, in case you're wife, <laughs> there's totally no judgment of when that happened. So I just <laughs> want to put that out there. I'll start. I'm Yaya. I am the CEO and co-founder of Tiny Room for Elephants. And the last thing I cooked was um, bacon and eggs. I-, I made that this morning. So <laughs> um, Eric Boss, you look like you you you're hey. shutting it up over there. <laughs> yeah, actually, I literally just was. Uh, what's up? I'm Eric Boss, music director, Tiny Room for Elephants. Uh, I literally just made some, like, breakfast potatoes, I guess. Here. That's brownie here. About to eat them after this. Okay, okay. That's one of... Why you didn't say kombucha? <laughs> <laughs> Do you make kombucha, Eric? No. Uh, I tried. Just a few months. I did you okay. Had that I thing? failed. I'm, yeah, I'm taking another shot at it again. Uh, soon I have yeah I just got a new scoby from my uh, scoby my, uh, from my, uh, scoby that's, that's what you need to make kombucha yeah. a scoby yeah you got it yeah have yep yeah. I didn't know that yep it's like Look a back at this. Jason who are you what did you hey, have how y'all doing I'm Jason I'm the director of content and I'm not gonna count heating up my lunch today so I'm gonna go back two nights ago when I cooked and I made a uh, pizza. Ooh, homemade, homemade. Yeah, homemade. I broke our pizza stone, but um, <laughs> one. yeah. Oh, so you make the crust and everything. Yeah, yeah, I like making homemade pizza, yeah. Nice. I'm not surprised. I'm they not surprised. They've been going vegan but... lately, so we've been trying to do the um, vegan stuff. Like, we'll do, like, uh, pesto instead of cheese or something. Okay. Ooh, okay, right. Mike, what you doing? What you doing over there? Hey, actually, I am a cook for your information. Oh! Okay, and I, cook often, and I cook often around this here house. <laughs> the information there, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, actually, I'm not gonna do breakfast because everybody talks about making eggs. I think the last real meal I cooked uh, that was two days, a couple days ago, I cooked some uh, some uh, sauté some oh, shrimp yeah. with some uh, peppers and onyons. Do some um, sun-dried like tomatoes grams. in there. You know what I mean? Hook that up. Do it over some. Yeah. Uh, some gnocchi that my wife had left over in the refrigerator with some uh, kale. Wow. I'm... You know I mean, okay. sauteed the kale up. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Right. Had, fl- had flames going all over the kitchen. I'm happy to do play. This is like the first time you said you made something. And- <laughs> <laughs> I cook often, man. Wow. You know what I, mean? I get home first. Okay. I get home at, yeah, I'm home at 2 o'clock, so I can't wait for my wife to come home to eat. Man, I'll be the star. <laughs> she's a working she works full time i just okay. go to work <laughs> and um the other yaya horn on the call your your name plate says yaya but dang hey hey, hey. all right <laughs> um what did you last cook nobody's talking about breakfast i like to make breakfast but i want to talk about the oatmeal that i made with uh <laughs> raisins and uh dry cranberries and crushed walnuts a uh, little uh, brown sugar. I made it with oat milk. But that's not what I'm going to talk about because nobody's talking about breakfast. I'm going to talk about uh, the last. I've been eating out a lot, to be honest, because uh, when this is open, when, when you know the weather goes bad, we're going to be indoors, and then we can cook all we want. But the last time I cooked something, uh, I made a stir fry for myself, uh, and it was carrots, peppers. Uh, hot peppers, uh, potatoes, onions. Uh, I started it with a little, uh, a little, a little garlic, onion, and uh, 
and, and, and black pepper just to get it popping. Then I, I added my vegetables. I want to impress you, Kyle. I want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm, saying, Kyle? I'm like, okay, you going, going, keep going, 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 keep going. I was just talking about my roof. That's what's up. That's what's up. I was like, I, don't we all make a roux before we, like, no? Is that me, just me and Kyle? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, made, I made a roux and I made no, a stir fry. Uh, yeah, that's not uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm heavy on the spices and the sauces, so you know, add a little uh, a little dragon sauce, add a okay. little. Um, see, I like that eye, Kyle. I like that. You, you know what I mean? Eyebrows. I like a little Trader Joe's uh, onion garlic crunch for a little <laughs> little snap to it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and and I finish it off with some. Uh, with some uh, with with some with some t- with some like uh, sauteed tofu, uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds delicious. You know, it does. But I haven't cooked in a minute. Uh, oh, my specialty okay. is fish. I don't eat fish, but I make a good fish. I hear yeah. so people request it. So I'm just gonna put that out there. <laughs> what about you, Alex? Um, hi, I'm Alex. I'm the uh, internet guru for this uh, this year happy hour. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, just like a simple kind of breakfast, just like a sauteed veggie sausage, some sauteed veggies, and a couple eggs. Something simple. Mm-hmm. Just because you say sauteed a lot, it'll make you a chef, okay? We <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just asked you what you made, and you listed all the ingredients. <laughs> right. oh, oh. I didn't say sauteed once. I didn't say I actually got it all right here. I used... Sauteed don't make you a chef, huh? I'm going to get a shirt for that. That's be hot. Sorry about that. Well, I sure. saved I saved the best for last. Some of us might know Kyle from out dancing or perhaps a while ago bartending at the Sophie Tell. What else? Oh my god. Liberty Club or even the Lansdale Farmers Market. Most recently, Kyle of Darnell Cakes is here to chat it up with us today and go ahead and and give us who you are and what you last cooked. That's going to be the interesting thing. Uh, well, I'm Kyle of uh, Darnell's Cakes, and um, we're at 444 North 3rd Street. We're open what? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Darnell'sCakes.com for the menu and all the other information that you may need. Uh, the last thing I cooked was lemon poppy pound cake nice. a few moments ago. We love it. <laughs> and I'd like to just Lemon say, poppy everything, though. I, so do I. Yeah. And I don't get it you enough. Poppy too, which are really good. So. I love lemon poppy pound mm-hmm. cake. Wow. Yeah. When was the last time you had lemon poppy pound cake, Mike? My wife made one not too long ago. <laughs> Damn. Yo, my wife's pound like, cake. Like, really yo. on it. Like a G. Yo, my wife's pound cake is 100%, man. Like, not to take no shots at you there, brother Kyle, man, but I think yeah, she's no, no shots taken. Hey. Yo, I don't I haven't tasted yours, but yo, like she found this recipe from a great great grandfather that was stuck oh, in a shit. book someplace. Dude, it's sick. Ooh. It's sick. I'd like to try some. Yeah, some next time she guys. makes one, I'm gonna bring it by for you, brother. Okay. Thank you. I'm, gonna bring, I'm downtown every day. I'm gonna bring you a piece next time she makes one. All right. My yeah. girl love crab country pound cakes. Right? Sharing, sharing is definitely caring. So, Kyle, you have been, you've got a lot of press. I do my research, even though you and I know each other fairly well. Yeah. Uh, go back through and, and, and stalk all your profiles a little bit. <laughs> and so I, I count so many articles. So you've been on the Philadelphia Inquirer, 6ABC, the mm-hmm. Tribune, Fox mm-hmm. 29, Philadelphia Magazine. Mm-hmm. But sure that there are still even though you've been featured in all those things i'm sure there's still questions that mike has for you he okay. is a resident new to everything guy and i think that this is a perfect segue to his over a drink where mike joins us and he makes us a cocktail and oh. he kind of chats with you um about all the things he didn't know and hopefully we can all learn something new too So today's drink, Kyle, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pull out. This is why I asked what you was drinking earlier, because I had the same jar, oh, Eric. 
So this is uh, uh, word. So my wife made the uh, what you call it again? This is ginger punch, mm -hmm. but it has um, she put lemon and uh, turmeric in it. Ooh, oh, okay. So we're gonna go with the lemon and turmeric ginger punch, right? Where's my glass? So we always, you know, the trusty glass. We're gonna throw just, some ice in there. Just so you know, Kyle, uh, Mike makes a drink every week. Every week. Yeah. And it's, it's on him to like make the drink and source the ingredients, and his wife gotcha. brings all the ingredients. So, no, that's not true, Dave. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. No, I go to the fresh store. He makes the we drink. We need a clip show of all <laughs> the ingredients that you <laughs> did not make. She, <laughs> makes, she does make the drink. She does make the juice, but I go to the grocery store and buy all the that stuff. That does not count. The and one time. She comes up with some kind of concoction from everything you want from the grocery the, store. The one time you made the whole drink straight, it was Hennessy straight. <laughs> right? So, and then we got, we drinking um, some aged rum. Wow. Caribbean five year aged. Okay. Uh, what's that name? Hey. Angostura. Angostura. Know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Familiar with that? Mm hmm So I found this um down there at the store, Yaya. Who no, knows? Okay. Liquor World. First... Total wine, baby. Total wine. We need to like be a sponsor. For real. This is, this is um this is the first. This is my transition to the fall. So that's why I went and got some brown liquor. Okay. Like we was doing all the light stuff. I had all the light stuff earlier. So, throw a little bit of uh, rum. Actually, my hand got a little heavy there. That wasn't supposed to be that much. Oh, really? We're yeah, for a show. fun ride. Yeah, it was <laughs> a little, got a little heavy there. And then you hit it with the uh, with the, with the elixir that my wife put together. This is the um, and Kyle, you're a chef, so this should be easy for you. Okay. You just grind up some ginger in your like your neutral bullet or whatever it is, yes. and then you got to strain it with some cheesecloth, mm -hmm. so you don't get all the hair, the ginger hairs in it. Right. You wow. strain it. Add a little bit of sugar, some water. She threw some turmeric and some mm -hmm. lemon in there, brother. He did that though, right? The training. And That's, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's all ginger juice. Yeah, I'm not gonna pour the whole thing in it. We That's make a so much. Well, it's water also. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, I, yeah. Oh. It's, it's, <laughs> I was sweating. I was so <laughs> no, 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 no! That's also water. Oh, ginger. But you get, but it's probably. Yeah, like, you know, like the Nutribullet bottle, the cup. Yeah. So we get a, like, it's a cup of that. And then oh, it's like right. a half, like a gallon of, uh, you know, how much water you put in, like a pitcher of water. Mm. You mix it up. And then, um, oh, hold on, okay. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, so I got to cut the orange. And then you hit it with the, you hit it with a slice of orange. Okay. Yeah, let me tilt that down so uh, you can uh, see that. Ooh, you got set up. that marble? You got set up. Is Let me shut that, that down so you can see that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on a second, man. Yo, yo, Kyle, you didn't know what you were showing up to. Like, you I, see me I earlier, did. right? You ain't even know it. It I was didn't. so official, didn't you? It, it just keeps getting better and you better. You ain't even know how official <laughs> this was, did you, Kyle? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a game, brother. This is not a game. They ain't even tell you. You see that? Look at that slice. Look at that. Look at that. That's like a barkeep slice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kyle, no, you was a bartender. <laughs> Boom, splash that in there. Look at that, baby. Yo, Kyle, you can add that to your menu, brother. I don't know. You don't have a you don't have a liquor license, so you might have to give it away. But we accept donation. Out. You know what I'm saying? There you go. <laughs> Drinks by donation. There you go. Yo. <laughs> you know, set that up on a flyer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom. And so then we Cheers, toast over a drink. That's Cheers. what it is, Kyle. Cheers. And, and real uh, quick, brother, before we move on, <laughs> I do have a couple questions for you, brother. And I wanted to ask you, man. Um, hold on, I wrote it down because I knew I was gonna forget. Oh, this one wasn't written down. Who's Darnell? Um, Darnell is my late cousin. Uh, he passed away in January of 2013 due to uh, AIDS complications. So that's kind of how it started why I got started and I knew I always wanted to cook or bake or do something but never really had like a focus or whatever but this kind of like you know got me together too um started out with a fundraiser and now you know I'm in my shop today <laughs> that's what's up and then yeah. and so and I mean obviously you named it after him because my next question was going to be when I was scrolling through your Instagram and I read the thing on your website where it says you support um 
AIDS, uh, AIDS awareness and all that yeah. stuff. Yes. Um, my next question was, what's your thoughts on the lack of, uh, of campaign awareness around AIDS nowadays, man? Because I remember, and the reason I ask is like, in the early 90s when AIDS really, late 80s when I was in college, like, dude, it was, we were getting pounded with AIDS awareness stuff. Mm-hmm. And then it kind of fell off, it seems to me. And now we're having this resurgence of it, it seems, in a lot of young people. Like, it, it always surprises me. I've seen a thing you had on your Instagram that said something like 26% of AIDS cases of kids from the age of 14 to 23 or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so for something that so many people have been aware of for so long, you know, I feel like the lack of AIDS awareness education might be part of the problem while we're having those kind of resurgence. And I was just wondering what your thoughts was on that. No, that, that you're exactly right. I mean, I don't even know if there is so much of a resurgence, but you just may be a little bit more aware of what's happening now. But, you know, there's things like PrEP, which is uh, pre-exposure prophylaxis, which basically kind of prevents you from getting AIDS if you do take it every day. So there's medication, there's condoms, there's like a bunch of things out there. And, you know, I think people just, it's not a death sentence anymore like it was, but it was with my cousin because he didn't get tested. So like, you got to get tested and you got to keep it up top of mind and, you know, just keep telling people to use condoms and do what you can do. But people forget, like, (laughs) especially in the heat of the moment (laughs) or lack of better whatever terminology <laughs> um, well i didn't mean for us to get that heavy the heat of the moment sorry right. the heat of the moment i didn't mean for us to get that that yes, heavy that please. early in the game man but so let's go back to just talking about your cakes then man okay talk i didn't mean to get that heavy but you jumped right into it when i, I didn't expect you to I'm tell me to now. i didn't expect the answer to darnell i was like i thought he was gonna be like yo darnell is like my son so i named the place after him and we go down that road nope so no, it got heavy on me fine, quick. Fine. It's it's okay. I'm all right. Yo, man. But talk a little bit about uh, 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 Darnell's cakes, man. I got this um coffee cake here that Dane been swearing by. Well, y- you talk about it. You I'm about, to, you about, tell it. Me about it. I'm about to tell you about it in a second here, brother. I have no problem be, talking about it. it be, I didn't yeah. ask you, Dane. This is our first <laughs> I mean, should I even answer these questions? You feel like you should ask everybody. Like, oh. no, like, what, 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 what's the, to... You know what I mean? Hold on, hold on. Okay. This is our first live taste test. Oh, shit. Wow. Look she at that. Like all the time. Yeah, you got to give it the extra mouth movement when you're chewing. Yeah, that's you how do. you get all the extra <laughs> flavor out of like it. <laughs> that's how you absorb. That's how, that's how you get the flavor of the pop out of it. That's the flavor of exposure chew. Take a late switch. Yo, yo, this is a good ass coffee cake, brother. Let's Dame. talk about it. Yo, like I went Dame, through. Yo, Dame had mentioned how it wasn't too thick and it wasn't too dry. You know what I mean? Coffee cake would be dry. I'm going to tell you. Sometimes they make the cake too thick and it'd be dry. Yeah, right. Yo, right. sometimes it's like. It's a problem. It's a cake. It's a cake with, it's a a cake top. with crumbs on the top, right? Yeah. And it's like, you know, you get it. You're like, oh, I get a coffee cake to go with my coffee or whatever else. Holy smoke. And it's too much. <laughs> Yo, here's oh, something I'm going to say. The coffee cakes, I don't mean to jump in, but I'm passionate about uh, about Darnell's cakes. I've had oh. them all. I've had the best of them. Uh, that sound right. That didn't sound right. But what, what I like about that? Darnell's cakes is that even like you know, whether it's a coffee cake or whether it's the lemon, uh, the lemon, the lemon square, lemon bar. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a thin cake. It's not too much cake. It's like it's, it's the ratio the, is perfect. The ratio, the proportion of like cake to the, like you know, it's a thin layer of cake, and then it's like it's more crumb and cinnamon and sugar than actual like cake, and that is the best. And it's you not over so, sweet. It's like everything is got all right. Well, it's supposed to be. Let's go. This one's official. I know exactly what you mean. You ain't even saying that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you oh. want to eat more, man. Yeah, oh. Oh. All right. I got one more question, and I'm going to check out. Okay. Listen. <laughs> so good, man. Well, yo, there's a lot of, like, like when they said, like, yo, he's a chef, and he, he cooks, and he does this. I'm not going to lie, man. I didn't have high expectations, right? Because I don't know you, and I didn't know what I was walking into. No, I'm just telling him to be it's honest. It's okay. 
It's because okay. There's a lot of. It's not the first. He's not the first. <laughs> there's a lot of people who cook in this city uh-huh. who ain't that good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, what was it about you? Like, what made you realize, like, yo, don't, and don't front like you ain't had people's food where you was like, you was like, all right, it, you, you told them it was good, but you was like, you know, you ain't want to hurt their feelings. Like, what was the thing that made you realize, like, yo, this is my lane, man, like, cooking, cakes, pastries? Yeah. Like, what, was, what, was, what was the click for you? Uh, honestly, family. Like, growing up, um, um, what's it called? The holiday season. You know, Thanksgiving, oh. Christmas, like all that holiday baking and just like that mac and cheese box. Yeah, <laughs> that's coming. <laughs> I got plans for that. <laughs> but I realized I like baking more than than cooking for some reason. I don't know. I my mind is kind of. I used to want to be a chemist, a uh, biochemist at that. So well, my mind is very right technical, now. very like strategic, and like very like cut and dry so baking just was a natural fit and that's it but within baking it's like you still have to cook food too because you can't just have you know bread like you need something to go with the bread like whatever else goes in that sandwich so the food side kind of just accompanies the baking because that's like the basis of the business Um, or at least me i do want to learn how to cook more food though so i'm working on that well bacon is a science dude yeah. And so the fact that you said that you were, you know, wanted to be a chemist, and all, it all makes sense because, like, you know, with food, you can be off a little bit and it'll still be good. Baking, you get the, you get your measurements off or you get the, and you blew mm-hmm. it. Right. You ain't getting none of the measurements off on this joint, man. I don't know about the piece Dame got. Yo. So now this cake is a winner, man. Thank you, I forgot baby. about my drink. Kyle, it's all right. Ah! Kyle, th- th- that's what threw it's me okay. through. I'm it's sorry, okay. I'm sorry. It happens Kyle. all the time. It's okay. Well, I'm going to say this. Words of Del Nero, this cake is fire. Words of Del Nero, this cake is fire. There we go. Not to over drink for this episode. Yes. Yeah, that's you. Yes, that was great. So, over Kyle. Dessert. <laughs> over dessert. Over dessert. Over dessert. Over dessert. Yeah, I forgot about the drink. I've been eating cake. so so kyle uh, a lot of what you do i feel like especially from the outside looking in is really kind of looking at your support network i feel like you Mm -hmm. bring in a lot of your friends to come help you execute like what you do even like all the way to like the playlists that are playing when people come in on a on a sunday um can you talk a little bit about that like utilizing your friends as the support support network yeah i mean i mean my main guy i call him low that's his last name but his first name is joe i mean we've been friends for years but he's now my business partner and is literally making cake right now <laughs> um wait look can i get a shot <laughs> first of all all this time i thought his name i thought that was his real it, it was his first name what was that i have mine right here no, I want tequila, please. <laughs> Dude, he's, he, he, he's on his way to be one of my, he'd be like a favorite guest right now, man. Like, hold on, I can't, I can't talk to y'all, yo, no, can I get a shot, man? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I got to freshen up. So with my friends, it's like I have a bunch of artistic friends who, who, who are DJs, music producers, actual artists who do industrial design, carpentry work, like all types of things. So, you know, during this time, it's like, it's more so collaborative because it's like, they need work. You know, we have a great place where we can all come together and, you know, get stuff done. So it's like, why not? And why not promote my friends and what they're doing? Hey bro, can we talk about that little Dave mix? I'm Ooh. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about the can we talk yeah. about that little Dave mix? Can we talk yeah. about that Matt Pat mix? Where's so that? the idea started was I was thinking like oh, I was gonna make a playlist just to have music playing, and Matt was like, "All right, cool, you know, I'll make it." He did the first two. They were like, "Well, let's branch out and do others." And we do have other folks um, who are gonna make some because we got kind of busy with the cafe, so we need to do more music. But Little Dave's last mix was kind of like an ass because of like Philadelphia has so much, um, so much like disco that you know, that you hear, that you didn't realize, that 
either somebody was, you know, some type of musician on the project or producer or something else. And it's just like, yo, Philadelphia basically like killed disco. So yeah, that, that was his and probably my love letter to disco of Philadelphia. <laughs> Yes. Hear that, Mike? That's amazing. What's I that? need to hear that. Something that you might not know about. <laughs> Some music you oh, might not know I about. I forgot to say, I forgot you know to introduce who I was at the beginning. I'm the resident don't know anything guy. <laughs> like, okay. So, yeah, I forgot to tell you my title at the beginning. I so this show, okay. you never... You it's not Captain Ignorant, is it? <laughs> oh, might as well be. <laughs> and you don't mind telling you either. You don't mind telling you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the happy hour. So, talking about friends, for somebody that we can always kind of rely on on your Sunday church, as she calls it, is Jeanette. Mm-hmm. She is actually my guest coming up for Yaya's List. We're Woo! about to She's on the line. What? She's on the line right now. We're about to connect her. Word up. Yes, she is. Is. Yeah. What up, what up, what up, what up? What up? Hey. <laughs> You're on mute. mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. Can we hear you? No, she's muted. And there's You're muted. Procedure. Oh, here we go. Is there that- you go. Oh, now we got wow. you. all over again. Hi, so we were actually just talking to Kyle. We were talking about what a great support network that he has in his family. And you were the perfect segue to bring on for this edition of Yaya's List, where I usually talk about talk to creatives doing awesome things in the city that actually have things to sell and that are trying to push their creative boundaries during this COVID time. And we thought you would be a perfect guess, but I first wanted to just talk about how we met each other. I don't know how if people know this. We actually oh, it's have a good story. story. Yeah, we have a very interesting first meeting story. Um, we actually met through a mutual friend, Jason, uh, rest in peace. He would always talk to me about Jeanette and he's like, you don't know Jeanette? You don't, she has big hands just like you. She has big hands just like you. And I was like, what? He's like, you, got, you have to meet her. You actually have to meet Jeanette. And so one day we're on South Street. Jeanette used to work at the Adidas store. And Jason took me into the Adidas store. And he was like, there she is. And he was like, Jeanette, this is Yaya. She has big hands just like you. (laughs) So he was like, go ahead, hold your hands up together. And so we had never met before. And we were just like, oh. And, um, yeah. <laughs> that was the connection. It was like that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was the connection, and it's been um, a very, very long time that we have been together. I feel like a lot of people know us through Red Bull, but I think that was just such a, a small part of us and how we know each other. And I'm just super excited to have you on today because I feel like during these times, we've all kind of just been following your journey, right? And I feel like you're, it started with your plant journey and then you got Asada, <laughs> right? And we're just all, we're all, if we need to know anything that's going on in the city, the, 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 the right causes to get behind, and that is a really good um, point of the research. Flags. Okay. There you go. Sell it, sell them. Whatever you got to sell, Kyle, put it up there. So, let's <laughs> so, yeah, talk about it. And can we put a mic on Asada, please? Can we get an Asada can going? What's oh, great, great. Where is she? She is the. Oh! Yes! So, oh, can, you tell yes. Us, can you tell us how you found her? Tell us a Asada story. Yeah, so um, many of you know, I started my, my COVID garden. Um, well, you guys all know. I started my COVID <laughs> garden. I'm like, many of you know, like, you know, out, the audience out there. Um, <laughs> and um, so every day I was going out to water it. And um, Kyle had opened up his shop. And I was just, you know, getting ready to go out to water my garden before I went in um, to kind of like help out at Darnell's. And, you know, I open up the, you know, the gate and I'm just like hustling back there and I see like something run from underneath the stairs and take off. And I'm like, is that, that ain't a rabbit, but it's running like one. And it, I mean, she just, she darted from under the stairs and she was out. And I said, oh, that's my new cat. That's my new cat. 
<laughs> and I, I remember I was so excited. I like I got to Darnell's and I was telling everybody like, guys, I got a new cat. Like she's in my car. Yes. I can't wait to get home. Like I got a trap her ass. Like mm -hmm. she's gonna be mine. She don't know it yet. Mm -hmm. and, um, I ain't seen Jeanette for like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. It's true. Um, yeah, so I stalked her for a good two days, um, meowing in the yard, meowing at her, trying to get her to meow at me, come to me. You know, I was feeding her. My neighbors were coming up like, yo, there's like a cat like in distress in the yard. And I'm like, no, that's just me. <laughs> Uh, so we had to clear that up and then like now when I see all my neighbors they ask me like did you get that cat that did you did you trap her and I'm like yeah I trapped her yeah, you got me. <laughs> now, now actually I have, a, I have a spaceship bag I wish I had it closer I'd bring it but I think you can people have seen this thing um on, online but it it's a dome and you can wear it you know on your back and I've been sticking her ass in there jamming her in closing it up and taking her outside every day trying to get her like you know does she love it does she love it starting to i think she's starting to i took her out on the leash yesterday for the first time Whoa. Uh, oh and, how was that yeah that was really funny i got you know some scratches uh to 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 prove it oh, you know okay. um but okay. you know once to, <laughs> you, walk was, a like, cat. She, you walk a cat you can you can do this no, I, mean, I know you I walk a cat. people at the park with like cats on leashes like yeah so, and, like cats are so and, independent Nah, and these cats, they don't want to leave their people. They're like, no, no, we chilling. I'm not going too far. Like, yeah, they're not like yeah, really yeah. trying to get away. They're like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah. I just wanted to yeah. see, and then I'm back. They I'm know back. the difference between catching their food and getting it scooped out of a can. You know, they know what's up. You know, okay. they know, come home. Okay. Yeah, go with me. <laughs> like, dogs will run away and go find a whole new pack. Like, they'll go, yeah. they'll find a group of a gang yeah. of dogs and be like, we out. We live, we live independent now. The cats are like, they'll follow you, you know, across the state. Like, I mean, obviously, we ain't telling Jason nothing. Yeah, nah, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> this turned into a freaking SPCA show. <laughs> so you're a cat mom, but you're also this plant mom. And I want to kind of get into talking about how you started making these shelves. Hold on, I'm going to share my screen in case Ooh. people don't know what they look like. Um, oh, nice. I always have a hard time doing oh, Don't worry, I have one right here. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Just in prepared. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God. Thank God. Like a quarter. Yes. 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 There we go. Some for the cake and then some for extra. Yo, you there made that. I made, yes. I made this one. Okay. I've got. I've got plenty. Uh, right? Oh no. There we go with Yaya with the screen. Don't look at me. Don't look at this <laughs> screen right now. Hey, we're looking. The is this? Don't. Don't look at we're looking. Looking. Oh, no, no, no. What else she got on that screen? Uh, <laughs> I got it. The pressure was too much. <laughs> there we go, Jeanette. I wanted to be able to see the plants on there. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. So talk to us how this came about. I feel like I don't even know. It was just like one day you were making one for yourself, and then I feel like they were yeah. like, flying yeah. off the shelves, literally. Yeah, like. basically, my brother, you know, I said one thing about wanting to sprout, you know, make my own food and grow my own food. And next thing you know, he sends me an entire kit for sprouting. And I was like, oh, well, shit, now I'm going to have to learn how to, how, where, you know, to do these sprouts. And where am I going to do it? I have just a two-room apartment. So um, I also had a mouse problem then, so I was really concerned oh, about that. Um, and so I was like, I'm going to have to build a shelf. So I started, you know, looked them up, looked them up on Etsy. Um, I saw people were like, you know, it was like $80. Then it was going to be just the shipping. And I'm like, for all that, like, I could buy the wood, you know, probably buy an attachment to my, um, to my drill and make it happen. And so I made myself one. I was super proud. You know what I mean? I posted it online. Um, and right away, people were like, I need one. Like, how much? just DMing me like, yo, I need it, I need it, I need it. I was like, shit, like, what? okay. <laughs> so then I started making them and I, I was just like, you know, just give me what you can because of, you know, COVID times. Yeah. And um, people were, were, we were doing trades. I was getting like, I was getting plants in exchange. Like I was getting, you know, illegal, you know, drugs. <laughs> um, <laughs> people were giving me food, like offering me services. And I was like, so glad that I didn't put a price 
Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> servicing. <laughs> well, and also, you always kind of talked a lot about, like, this bartering system, yeah. right? And then I feel like, you know, this has given you an opportunity to actually do that, you know? Yeah, but I'd love to get off of, of, you know, Bob's teat, and I'd love to stop using money altogether. I know that's not always possible. Um, and I know it's a, it's up to you, you know what I mean? To make those different, you know, changes in your life, you know, like to not, to, to change how you spend your money and how you earn your money. Like that's your choice. Like I was just thinking about how it's in November, it'll be a year since I quit my job. And Ooh. I essentially was like, well, I mean, shit, I'm joining Tiny River for Elephants team. Like, I mean, I, I have this <laughs> Uh, who needs a job? Like, who needs know, a job? If y'all will have number. me, I, you know, I oh. kind of did this thing where I quit my whole job and I don't have anything right now. So, <laughs> um, and like so you ran, off with the, you ran off with the band. Yeah. <laughs> this, this new band called Rolling Stones. I'm going on tour with them. Join the circus. <laughs> That's so true. But like after being like kind of like a co-conspirator for all these years and you know, like, you know, I remember when you guys, you know, asked me like, yo, we're doing, you know, we need some artists. Like we, the type of artists that we're looking for is X, Y, and Z. And I was just so excited to be able to, you know, tell you about all the wild artists that I follow and that I know. And I felt like finally my, my interests are coming, like being of use. Like I couldn't wait to <laughs> contribute. And I would be at every artist uh, meet and greet, like, yeah, what's up? You know what I mean? Like I said your name, you know what I mean? Like you don't even know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like when I got to meet and tell and I was just all like, oh, I remember. Oh, geeking out, you know, it's just- uh, I think we have video of that in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, cool. But you, you are very much an artist yourself, and talk about it. Right, we see from your earrings all the way to the garland behind you. I don't even know if people on this call know that you draw. Like, let's that talk bundle. about bund. I heard you selling bundles. Selling oh. bundles. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's talk about let's talk about the garland because I feel like I had some and I know it takes a long time to make. This is a very it does, it does. Yeah, process. I mean, to give, to yeah, about. to give people the you know an image of it, I have it all strung up in my house. This is actually um, this one here is probably the first one I made. Wow. Uh, the way that the garland came about was another um, festival volunteer effort, <laughs> the Black Star Film Festival, which right. um, I yeah. volunteered for. Wow. They never decorated. They wow. never had decorations. And it would always be like one, you know, uh, step and repeat, you know what I mean? And like a, a pop-up banner. And I was like, that's it? That's, that's, that's all you guys do? And, and they were like, all right, well, you want to do it? And I was like, oh, shit, all right. You know, yeah. so, um, so that's how I made it. I ended up saying like, all right, the theme that year was all like African print. Like it was all like remixed African prints and stuff for the logo and the, the you know, the theme for the, the um, advertising. And so I just like went with it and I um, made a shit ton of it. And then I mixed it in with lights, you know, and um, you know, got some African pillows, you know, and just, yeah, oh, boom, there we are. Oh. Right. So this that, was, yeah, so this was the first attempt, and like that was years shot. ago. I think that was like 2016 or something like that. How long did it take? Oh. I mean, it takes a minute. I mean, of course, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing it at leisure usually, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I get the fabric um, sent to me for, you know, I use scraps. I try to, now especially, I really try to use scraps only. Um, I try to buy from, lo you know, local, you know, um, and established cultural, you know, uh, distributors and just try to get the authentic wax, you know? Um, and so I get the scraps, I cut them up and then it's just a matter of, of gluing it to the string. And I just try to get like two in each foot so that when I'm, when I'm bundling it up like this, I know how long it is after a while. Cause that, it took trial and error, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. for a, lo a lot of the time I wasn't thinking too deeply about the next step. And so I'd have the shit just strung back and forth, like Ooh. back and forth in the apartment to be strung up and down, you know what I mean? Whoa. And then when I got the cat, I was like, yo, I can't do this. She about to hang herself. Like, you oh. know, <laughs> Like I can't, I can't do this anymore. So that's when I started to get a little more strategic with it, and that's why you see me. You know, I mean, cranking them out now because uh, I have a system now. You know, so 
Uh, yeah. So I just, again, this was a quarantine situation where it was like, you know, what am I going to do with myself? Like, I'm going to build shelves. I'm going to, um, you know, make these. And um, at, at first, I also just made these to send to people. Um, I think you got it. I think you got it. Um, yeah. And yeah, I just, you know, I just wanted to, you know, send people care packages. And I was like, you know, something that's kind of like, you know, gender neutral, you know, um, not like that deep, you know, so I just started making it there. And then people wanted again to buy it. And, you know, shouts out to, you know, social media for that. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? And I, I, I have struggles with it, you know, um, take it a little break right now. But, you know, as you, you know, kind of introduce me, you know, I'm just like thinking about, you know, um, how you all stay abreast of what I'm doing and how I stay up on what, you know, even what you guys are doing and your show and this show. And, you know, <laughs> it's like, you know, we like, just like I want to like, divest from the dollar and and you know you know make sure my 401k is being used the right way like all these things around money and like property and all that stuff like it also has to do with social media like finding ways that we can like divest our time from social media but then like not lose that connection yeah you know i'm, yeah. I'm terrified to disconnect um from my people and them and and all this all the information that we don't get um, you know, from even, even when you look at the, you know, when you're digging for news and shit, you still don't get that, you still don't get that raw reel that you get on people who you follow, like you said, you know, people who you consistently kind of like keep up with and, um, yeah, so it's just, it's just an interesting thing because like half of my customers, wow. like I would have half of the shit that I've been doing that's been keeping me sane during quarantine but I'm also very angry <laughs> at how much time I start, have started to spend on it. Like I looked and I'm not going to lie. Like I, I saw three hours a day and I, uh, um, I gagged. Oh, you know, when they do your little report, your social. Yeah. Report. Uh, yeah. Hey, don't feel bad. I just, I just decreased Tell mine. Her Tell her yours. I, I just decreased mine. Uh, for the last two weeks I've been decreasing. I was at uh, a decrease. I went down 5% two weeks ago and I went down 6%. Uh, last week, uh, uh, I'm at about like, uh, like five and a half hours, uh, okay. five hours, five, 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 five and a half. Um, a lot of hours, Dane. It's a lot uh, of hours. <laughs> look at, look at the car with the case. So. We're judging? We're judging? Yeah, I am Are judging. We? That's a lot of hours, Dane. No. No. Okay, I thought this was a safe space. This is a safe space. Um, this is a safe space. Yeah, and that's how we my game. That's how we help each other. I'm telling you about my games. This is how we help each other. This is a safe space. My side is like, girl, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kyle, I like the cake shot, man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate I that, that, man. man. I seen that little low walk over to the cakes, man. I like that. <laughs> also, uh, with it. While, Jeanette, before while, while we're here, I just want to say, I'm sorry. I want to say, uh, while we all here, happy birthday, Jeanette. Yes. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, while we're both here, how do you get uh, wax out of a? Uh, how do you get wax out of a uh, out, 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 out of out of your favorite Nikes? No. How do you do that, Kyle? What? How do you do it, Kyle? How do you get wax out of Nikes, Kyle? <laughs> Tell me. Ice, maybe. Okay. okay. To get it really cold and chip it off. Okay. Ooh, yes. I just want to say, and then the maybe time. heat it up later so you can wipe it off. It may take a few like things, but it's possible. I had Wax the best the time, and, and, and it's well worth mm -hmm. waxy favorite Nikes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Jeanette. <laughs> Thank you so much. By the way, Jeanette, I miss you, man. I miss you, too. Oh. I haven't seen you in a while, yeah, man. It's good to see you, and it's good to be kicking it with you and hear your voice, man. You know, oh, thank, thank you for joining playing. us today. I, I love being able to watch what you guys have been up to uh, without me, and yes, I'm very jealous that, um, you oh, know, I'm not part. So now it's like, you know, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? You need oh. a minute. Need a minute. But, you know, quarantine had me down. Listen, you needed a minute. We'd love to have you back because, what? you know, as always, I'm the only chick on here, so. 
Yes, that too. Let's go, Eddie King. <laughs> Just <laughs> really go, quick, Eddie King. <laughs> really quick before we let you go, because I feel like even though these times are hard, it is a very vibrant, creative time for a lot of people. People are selling things for causes. People are creating things to sell, like yourself, for their own individual, you know, help. People are creating things just to make an expression or a statement. And so I'm curious as to if, is there anybody that you're crushing on right now that that we should know about? Yes, actually, um, there's, um, so, so she's not a friend of mine, but she's an, you know, an associate of mine. Maybe many of you know her, um, but her name is Heather and she runs Rocker's Closet. Um, Rocker's Closet has been sort of just like um, the thr the type of store I wish I could have always. Um, it's a it's a upcycle uh, vintage shop where she takes you know used products and turns them into new fly shit. Oh. Um, and she's also making like masks uh, out of like vintage uh, fabric oh. masks that match your top, masks that match your head wrap. You know for mm -hmm. you know the COVID fashions. Um, and she just like she's dope. She's been doing this forever. Um, she's so damn consistent with it, and um, she sets herself up at Malcolm X Park almost every single week. Um, she was uh, going to be at Clark Park last week, but you know the Proud Boys had to come through, ruin everything. Are you fucking uh, serious? She, huh? They didn't show up though. No, they yeah they, they got nervous. Like two or three of them showed up. Yeah, at Malcolm nervous. X Park, that don't even sound right. No, no at Clark Park. Enough. Clark Park. Oh, okay. That okay. It makes sense. <laughs> That, that kind of does, actually. So yeah, They're yeah. not going to go to Malcolm X Park, then. Come on. Dave. Oh, God, no. Yeah, come on, Dave. <laughs> no, that, that, that's, uh, that's ground for war. I just went, yeah, I just, yeah, like, yeah. what? I know we're in one. Like, but, like if I was, was, was with them, maybe he would have showed up. Show the with the 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 I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I, it's okay. <laughs> this show is off the rails today, y'all. Yeah, yeah, we apologize. <laughs> you guys know. That's just SMH over here. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, Rocker's Closet. We should Rocker's check it Closet. out. I will check it out. And just this is a totally random question, and then I'm really gonna let you go. I'm getting tipsy. But I was curious as I was going back through your profiles on all the socials, just a rough guess. How many different hairstyles do you think you've had over the past 10 years? Guess oh, I'm wow. just Ten? off the top of your head. Ten years? Ten years. Ten? Years. Ten? So uh, since Teddy Ken, get the fuck out of here. Right, how about yeah. a deep yeah. breath on that one. That's a tough question. She's like, I'm gonna have to take it's that and come so back to you. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is. I don't even know. Like, I honestly don't that I think that's why I locked my hair back up because I was like, there is nothing more other than like lace fronts, and I was like never into that. So I was just okay. like, <laughs> like yeah, I, yeah, did you count? <laughs> I wanted to, but it was literally like every okay. three pictures, it was like a completely different hairstyle. Okay. And then for me, every I time I was looking at them, I was like, oh, that was my favorite. Oh, that was my favorite. Because Jeanette knows every time she has a new hairstyle, that. it's yep. my favorite. So <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. But thank you so much for just oh. popping on, joining us today. You know, you're welcome back anytime. We love you, love you, love you. We love, love everything. you guys too. And, and I that guess is so good to see. Oh, man. Where can people buy your stuff? Blow kisses at you, baby. Thank where you. Where can people that want to spend money? <laughs> yes, find? please. People spend money because, like I said, I have bundles. All right, I got an abundance yeah. of shelves right now. I went a little yeah. crazy. Okay. Uh, well, Jeanette, you gotta. So we gotta talk. We gotta get. A, I'm gonna get my merch site up this week. I swear I am. I swear oh, I am. Soon. I'm gonna start it tonight. Get your, you'll get your treats, your Darnell's goodies, and you also yes. throw in some stuff for your house. You know what I mean? Maybe some yep. ears. Nice. Um, but you can get nice. my stuff right now on Live Girls at yep. uh, on Big Cartel. Um, so it's just you know Live Girls brand dot Big Cartel, um, or if you search Live Girls brand on Etsy, it's also on Etsy, um, and it's on Instagram. Yeah. Love I got some, I got some you. stuff to trade. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> I'll take, I'll, actually, I, I got shit to check. <laughs> oh, you got is that you. bike behind the the juice I got that bike all the, oh, all the fresh juices. Oh, I got the official juices, but they, I got to bring my oh, wife yeah, in. Yeah, and here's yeah. the problem with that, yeah, yeah. I got something for her. I'll make sure to make her something special. No, she makes all the juices. And she, she just made a ginger turmeric lemon juice. 
Oh, that wow. He just meant. Look at that. Damn. Oh, I said, people will pay for this. I keep telling her that, but you know, what are you going to do? My wife is a corporate chick. She ain't about okay, this guys, stuff. We got to move yeah. this show on. <laughs> love you. She ain't about that bar shit. She need checks. I love that. <laughs> yes, I would definitely trade. Let her know. No doubt. We'll do. Love All you right, guys. Bye, bye, bye. 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 So, oh. you see me staring up my little. This is the best part. This so, is the best part. Every week, people submit questions to ask oh. you. All of us here in these little boxes, we all submit questions, and I just put them in here, and I'm just going to dig around, and I'm going to see what we get here. Let's see here. Question bingo. <laughs> Does that mean we, like, call the numbers up? Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> and, and hey, some of these are going to be conversational, and some of these we can go through pretty quickly. We got a few. If it's your question, you get to say bingo. Mm -hmm. It's more I like know. Hollywood squares. This was a good one. <laughs> yeah. This, this is a good one about Darnell's case. What's the most popular thing on the menu? Hmm. Uh, sweet side, probably peach cheesecake right now. Really? I never even had. I didn't know you had a cheesecake. cheesecake. Holy oh. smokes, where you come up what? with this stuff? Yo, and oh. as, as, <laughs> that sounds great. Dude, that I'm such a, I'm, a, like a, I'm a crazy pastry guy. Like, uh -huh. dude, you're going to be my new guy here, Donna. I, mean, I thought I was sponsored. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Kyle, I'm yeah. in your building all the time, brother, now, man. You work right by him, apparently. Well, I'll see you on Friday, <laughs> Saturday, and yeah. Sunday. Uh, <laughs> at, least, at least one of those three days, man. I can't one. All right. I push. I push. I push. <laughs> okay. All right. Peach cheesecake. We know that. Okay. Here's one. This is getting a little intimate, Kyle. Oh, what no. is your most embarrassing cooking moment? Hmm. Embarrassing cooking moment. Uh, all the glamour stuff about your chefery, okay? Most chefery. embarrassing, I mm, lately the most embarrassing <laughs> thing was I um I uh I boiled my cream for for ganache. So with it, <laughs> I'm not supposed to boil the cream, but of course I was doing something else. I walked away. I came back. It started bubbling up. I was like, oh crap! But <clears throat> Then I was like, all right, cool, it's fine. I let it cool. Then I made the ganache and it broke, but I brought it back. So Woo! it was embarrassing, nice. but also way to save the day. Me. It's a pearl clutcher. It's like, oh no, I'm yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. 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 <laughs> oh, the, cream. the cream. It's ruined. It's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. I didn't realize these are all for me. <laughs> these are all for you. Oh, all for all you. Oh, yeah. this, one a, this one is a group one, though. Lightning okay. round. There it is. This is a group one. This is that one food that you never understood why everybody liked it. Do I have to start? You can. Uh, one food that everybody loves. They're like, oh, uh, for me, bubble tea. I can't stand it. <laughs> That's so funny. My kid loves bubble tea. They spend five hours a day on that nonsense. It's gross. Sorry. It's ridiculous. <laughs> she loves it, dude. What but if she likes it, right then I'm, that's cool. For her day. I got that's one. a good one, though. I'm going to go with sunchokes. I cannot cook sunchokes in any delicious way, but they're in sunchokes. What is a sunchoke? Um, um, it's like a, it's a ground, it's like a, it's a, a root, you know, it tastes like dirt to me. But they're very popular in um, like current cooking magazines, especially vegetarian cooking. They magazines. like dirt recently. They're all trying to like uh, you know work sunchokes and whatnot. Sun I can't do it. Sunchokes. Never Anybody even else? heard of it. Anybody else have? Yeah, one? yeah, I got I, one. Well, go, Dan, you go. I have a couple, but I'll, I'll give you my main. What? Beats. Beats are horrible. Who I likes agree with you? Man. <laughs> Come on. I agree with beets. you. Man. Beets are lovely. Man. Talk about like, tasting like dirt. Uh, beets are disgusting. Uh, you gotta, and oh, I'm gonna man. I'm gonna fall. You gotta go to be, I'm gonna be totally you go down there, bro. Uh, beets are disgusting. Today and they were yesterday. Be totally transparent. <laughs> like my grandmother used to try to fool me and she oh, would get the beets right. out of a can oh, and true. call it cranberry sauce. Yeah, but not they cool. have cranberry sauce. Never yeah, cool. That's, that's, that's some psychological shit you got going on. <laughs> yeah. But 
I will say they're still horrible. It's the it's the rudiest it's the rudiest of the roots. Yeah, it's really? yeah. the goat cheese and the candied walnut. Ooh, no. Yeah, I'm not I I'm know, not a beat guy. Like, oh, you had me at beat. No, man. thank you. Yeah. How about you, Mike? You said you had one before I go. Scrapple. And I know that's your local thing. Scrapple. Oh. Scrapple has got to be the most disgusting idea of a food ever. When you know what's in it. No, yeah. Yeah, scraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know anything, exactly what's everything. in it. It's when you when you're like when you're five, it's, it's not like, disgusting. It comes from like farmers having to do something with all the leftovers. Oh, like, Listen, yeah. I, I don't have a problem. It's, it's being with it. that's not disgusting. Listen it's to me. Lot of <laughs> ever had it cut in Wait, do you like hot dogs? Who me? Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. No, Talk I don't eat hot dogs either. But I will eat a, uh, like a turkey right. sausage though. So I know where you're going with this. Okay. So I'm okay. I understand where you're going with this. But what I'm saying is, like, it's called scrap. It. It's like. like why would you eat that? It's like meat coming out of a can. Yeah, it's, it's like, like it's like spam. Spam is another one. <laughs> you going to get, get a scrapple like... dish right now. Yeah, I'll be oh, right back. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, and listen, Jay. Jay, I understand. Like, I respect the farmers for saying, listen, man, I got all this stuff laying around. I got to figure out how to sell it. I got all this stuff. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. So, so, so I respect the farmers' me. hustle. It's selling Scrapple, but I just don't know why anybody's buying it. Yo, I got mad guts laying around, bro. Oh, man. What, I, what do I do with these guts? What are we going to do with this? I got some pig, I got some cow, I got some chicken. I'm going to throw all that together. I mean, that, that's what it out. Anybody else? <laughs> Anybody else have something to add before I move on to the next question? There were some good Am, ones. Ambrosia salad, because everybody Oh, my God, it. Ambrosia. I feel the right, Everyone wants to <laughs> Look out, and I'm like, you're not invited anymore. Yeah. What's, what what is you know, Alex. Alex. What's an ambrosia salad? It's it used to be it's such a big deal when I was little. Mm -hmm. Is that the one with the jello? Gush, they would gush over. Oh, mm. they have ambrosia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, that's, that's the, the jello. milky fruit salad. Yeah, the jello with the whipped cream. Uh, yeah. Not like marshmallow. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm a vegetarian, no. but I don't I don't eat oh. salad. That's not okay. even really salad. It shouldn't even be called salad. Just no. because you mix everything together sounds, doesn't it make it salad. It sounds like like I want it to be so good. It they can't be done right. well. It it can't be. Kyle, you, you said it can be or it can't. It can be. be. It can't be done well, but it's also like so a little bit gross. It's like a <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, Kyle, last weekend on Earth. Where what city are you eating in? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Last weekend on Earth. Oh, um, last weekend. You got one city. Go. I'm going to I'm going to Paris. There's no I question didn't about that. Say that. <laughs> There's Butter, no baby. question about that. <laughs> Butter, baby. Right. How about anybody else? Is that but here's the thing, you said last weekend on Earth. Is that like eating and then dying in? Or eating and then I can like die somewhere no, else. I just I feel like if you're going to Paris to eat, I don't know if you're gonna make it back home. Exactly. I'm eating everything. Yeah. I'm spending all my this money. Is your last <laughs> this is your last weekend <laughs> yeah. on earth. Where are you eating, guys? Where are I'm you going eating? back to New York, man. Yeah, yeah. What? yeah, yeah. I mean you, you got everything. Fight? You got you know, Italian, you, know. you got Irish, you got black, you got everything. I could go all over. You got black. <laughs> you got black. You got everything. You got everything. You getting a slice? <laughs> I'm gonna get a slice. Yeah. I'm gonna get a hero. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm not going to no far <laughs> land to eat my last meal. I'm going home and I'm eating, man, and I'm gonna just fall back, man. I'm going home. I'm putting on my Yankees fit in. I'm gonna get a, get a slice of pizza. Tim, yeah, get a slice. Your bow jeans from the nineties. You gonna sell me? Like, yeah. like, what a heart? Like, yes. what a red I'm rooster? Gonna, What's going on? All of them. All right. To, uh, just go to local. Go pizza Sam's. Get me a little three dollar slice. I'm gonna find my walk, man. Wait, <laughs> your last weekend on Earth, and you're gonna get a three dollar slice of pizza. I'm like, you need to. Um... <laughs> I'm going home, B. I'm gonna. I might get a three dollar slice of the forty ounce. Last week on Earth. I might uh I might hey, go right. to New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, I was going to say pick. that too. That's yeah, that's pick. what I was thinking. That's a good pick. That was a great I'm pick. Again, you know? I never had a beignet. Yeah. I've never what? had one and I actually have been to New Orleans and when I got on the plane it was like horror like, "Oh no, I forgot to try a beignet." And 
<laughs> Turn the plane yeah. around. Turn the plane around. Yo, can you get a good beignet outside of New Orleans? Because Ooh. I went to that place. There's a um, there's a there's a restaurant. What's that restaurant? It's like a, it's a chain though, but it's the Cheesecake Factory. Step up in King of Prussia. I don't know. Is that I, mean, the more, I can't think of the name. Whatever the case is. Factory Step Up. What yeah, it's like because I think it's the same it. company, but they're it's like, like Lux join. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that's Jesus. 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 I believe so. You know, like, oh, it's got to be that. Lux. I'm on, on there, there they a, make a there was a ass beignet, really but I don't trash. know what to compare it to. Trash truck juice. Yeah. There was a spot in like Queen Village-ish. Uh, they actually just closed. I want to say it was like 11th Street, maybe something like that. And it was all New Orleans style, everything. So Does even it like, like a donut. I don't want to do all this if it's just like a yeah. Mountain. I mean, it's, it's like a ball really, of dough. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's a ball it's of dough. It's like, and then you dip it in like you know some chocolate or the the it's the like, powdered it's like sugar a better or... version. It's you like know. a better version of the. Uh, the funnel cake Johns that they'll do where it's just like yeah. a glob instead of a big funnel Ooh. cake, you know? Correct. That's are killing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what it is. It's like that a brown funnel style. cake. It's like it's a way style. better than that. It's five way o'clock. I think that. we should be done with this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we got time. <laughs> Listen, listen. <laughs> he's the first guest to end the show. <laughs> he ended the show with us. And he did it. He did it. He didn't even do it in the chat. At least the last homie was like, yo, do y'all still need me? God, God hit us in the chat. God, God hit us straight up like, yo, I think we should just end the show. Like, yo, you got to start talking to y'all. <laughs> Before we let you go, can you let us know if there's any hope for extended hours for Darnell's, Darnell's Cakes? Soon um, and very soon. We're trying to get open during the week one and then nice. possibly on the weekends be open later or do a dinner service or something, okay. but soon. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, yes. We're, we're what what kind of hours are you thinking of though? I don't what know. What hours are you four. thinking of? Anything more than just two <laughs> days a week, four hours a day. Oh, oh, oh okay. Well, All right. You know what? I'm we're thinking like up. you want dinner, you want like breakfast throughout the week. Like, like I'm I'm downtown during the day. Okay. So, oh, like, do y'all open be. at noon? So base the whole schedule around mine. No, I'm just yeah. saying, yeah. like, yeah. you got, well, I mean, COVID, you don't have a lot of people down there right now, but, like, right. during, if, if whenever COVID finally goes away and people are back to work, yeah. maybe it makes sense to be there for lunch. Yeah. No, I no, I agree with you. I agree with you. There's a few businesses in the in the area that are, like, I've seen, like, a little uptake in, like, cars in the parking lot or oh, just more nice. people around. And not only that, there's still condos and people that live Correct. within blocks radius of this. That and could want to get like some coffee cook. or a snack, and there's that too. People can't cook, um, or just don't want to cook anymore, no, or tired of eating man. the same food, honest, dude, or cook. like all of that. So, yeah. So in the meantime, until we get those extended hours, when mm-hmm. are you open? Where can you we find you? Yes. Let us know all that good stuff. All right, Friday happy hour, four to seven. Byo, come get a snack, get some food, hang outside, hang inside. Saturday open for lunch, twelve to four. We're also at the Lansdale Farmer's Market, so we're doing double duty that day. Ooh. And Sunday, 11 to 4 for brunch, where we have breakfast sandwiches and other breakfast specials and oh. snacks and cake, cookies, et cetera. And oh. coffee, of course, too. Go ahead, Dave. So, no, I, just, I mean, I just, it's a couple, two things. One thing, breakfast sandwich. Woo! Uh, do we have to play some music in the background for? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just got a drippy. Oh, yes. I, I, I do have to say <laughs> that, uh, like, if you, you gotta, you, the the week that the breakfast sandwich is in there, yeah, it's a problem, man. Like, okay, what do I do? <laughs> it's there. It's there. Honestly, that was a glitch on our site that I didn't realize those notifications were gone. So it was just like you always buy a biscuit, and then first of all. If you haven't had the breakfast sandwich, you gotta get one. We if always have the breakfast the biscuit, sandwich on Sunday. If the breakfast always. sandwich is made on, you have to have the biscuit. If you ain't never had it one of Kyle's biscuits. The time best to open biscuit. on Sunday? 11 a.m. 11? I right, have done my grocery shopping by then. I'm just gonna it is the right best downtown. Biscuit. Come right downtown and get myself a and little also breakfast sandwich. Too, it's kind of like a family reunion there. Like, I, yeah. I want to add that in. Like, we're outside, everybody's safe, and we're able to just kind of pop a squad. He's got chairs out there, umbrella. Bad. You can keep Bad. your distance, but you can actually see people. We brought our wine sometimes, and it's just like 
a nice Sunday morning. And yeah. I really appreciate that Kyle does oh, that for thank us you. because when it started, um, I think we were all just so desperate for for that like in person connection. Yeah. And you provided a space for us for that. So I'm so excited to see that you've added more time and that you're considering adding more. Um, yeah, definitely. We, we really need it, um, especially Black chefs out here just doing something something different. So um, it's been a real pleasure to have you today. You've been a great, great guest. Thank We're excited. You. We'll yeah, see yeah. you on Sunday. All right. um, <laughs> <laughs> We're regulars, and I'm gotcha. Yeah, you, you you are. Know? Yes. So I'm just saying. No. <laughs> so hopefully we'll see <laughs> we'll see more people there. This has been awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, TRFE happy hour, Jason. Oh, thanks for having me. Play us out, Jason. Jason, yeah, thanks for hanging with us, man. Really, really, really yeah. enjoyed you, man. It was Thank good. you. Yeah, Thank you. It was good. <laughs> Before you I mean, go, let's let Jason just do okay. a little. Play little. his ditty. <laughs> okay. Okay. I love the house piano. Way better Welcome. than the keyboard. Love it. Okay. All Way right, better. guys. Have a great one. All right, y'all. Peace, everybody. Bye. Have a great night.